Hello there, so today I'm going to be doing a very fun video for you. Um, I did a collab about two years ago with a lovely artist named Miranda. Um, I didn't even have a thousand subscribers at the time and she asked if I wanted to collab with her and it was thanks to her that I ended up hitting a thousand subscribers so I feel that I owe a lot to her and today me and Miranda are collabing again. We both sent each other packages full of art supplies. We settled on a price of about $25 and we exchanged art supplies. So today I'm gonna to be going through all of the stuff she sent me and see what kind of art that I can make from it. She's actually opening what I sent her in a video on her channel. Make sure you check it out in the description. She's amazing and lovely. So yeah, I don't know what to expect. I've not opened the box yet, but I'm very excited to see what she sent. So this is the box that she sent me. It's very, very heavy. It's like she sent me a couple of bricks. <laughs> okay, so when I first open the package up, the first thing I'm seeing there's a little mint coloured card. Now mint and blue are my absolute favourite colours. So I don't know if that was intentional or not. Oh, she sent me a little print of her elephant. How cute is that? She is like the queen of little adorable animals and succulents. Inside she's got little hedgehogs here and some strawberries and it says, Chloe, this feels kind of cool sending each other something tangible after knowing each other for a couple years. I'm really glad we met through YouTube and just clicked. Me too. I love your kind spirit and amazing sense of humour. Hopefully you enjoy what's in the box. Mwahahaha. That's not a good sign. P.S. There's some paper samples in here anyway. You don't have to use them in the video. Haha. <laughs> oh, thank you. She sent me some paper. Bless her. That's lovely. Okay, digging inside the box a little bit more now. Okay, so first thing I'm seeing here. Have a look inside. Oh, you can see. I have a little box here that says Chloe on it with a little heart. So we've got a brush pen by Ecoline which I've never heard of before. <gasps> oh, that looks really nice for like lettering and stuff. Next, I have a art crayon, watercolor crayon. Next up, I have some gouache. Is it gouache? 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 I've never used it and I'm very excited. It's, this is Marigold Yellow by Winsor & Newton, so that's very exciting. I now have a charcoal white generals pencil. I have a little baby kneadable eraser, which is adorable. And lastly, I have like a little pen refill. That's really cute. Thank you, Miranda. This is lovely. Okay, so I have two Winsor & Newton pigment markers. So now I have an origami. I have origami paper. Oh, I used to love origami. Ta-da! A little cup made of paper. Completely useless, but it's a cup made of paper. Okay, next I have... This is the best art supply that anyone has ever bought me. It's an eraser. <laughs> it's an eraser that looks like an ear and it's little and cute and awfully disturbing at the same time but look at it i have a mini paint set it's like a little adorable little kitty kind of play set thing for paint and i also have this is like a makeup brush next up i have i have two sticks i could make a fan with the origami paper and the sticks I could do that. I could make like a little little fan. And she sent me loads of printer paper. Thank you so much, Miranda. You're so thoughtful. And lastly, I have some Canson paper. So if I go inside, I have I got blue, yellow, and pink, which is kind of like a really nice ice cream. Didn't send her anywhere near as much cool stuff as she sent me, but still. Check out our video and I will see what I can make with this stuff. So I hope you enjoy the video. So when I looked at the supplies I had, I was looking at purple, bright green and orangey gouache. And I was like, what exactly can I make with these obscure colors that don't really go that well together? So I went on my Instagram and I did a live stream there and was like, come on, help me, everyone help me. What do I, what do I make? And the consensus was kind of something florally. So I decided to go ahead and try to somewhat recreate these Mickey Mouse ears that I made for one of my Patreon patrons. 
the other day um, because it's a lot of fun to make. It was quite simple and easy at the time. But I was stupidly forgetting that I just, I do not use markers or gouache or pencils, like white pencils. I, I've never actually properly used any of that. <laughs> so I was like, how am I supposed to make this any decent? Because I've never used it before. So it was a bit nerve wracking. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was nerve wracking to try and get anything decent, but I tried my best. Um, I initially sketched it all out, used the eraser, which was actually really very, very good. So uh, if you're looking for a decent eraser, get one shaped like an ear because apparently they know what they're doing. Um, next, I kind of, I was trying to add some flowers and then with the purple and then I was using the little white crayon thing, which what is exactly, what do you use that for? Because it was like so soft and weird and it was like, I didn't really, it was like a combination between like a soft crayon and like a pastel. It was really bizarre and I just don't really understand the purpose of them, what they're good for. So let me know what they are actually used for normally because I have no idea. Uh, next up, I was like, this is not working. I can't just make all of these flowers purple. It's going to be terrible. So I took the little kid's little paint set thing and decided to give that a go. And actually, I was able to draw a rose or paint a rose with it, which was actually, to my surprise, quite pigmented. Um, it, it didn't turn out too bad. I thought, honestly thought, to be honest, the red was the only decent colour, but it, you know, it worked well enough for what I wanted and it was close enough to watercolour. Still not quite, but it was there. Um, I also had the origami paper. I was like, how am I supposed to incorporate origami paper into this? So I ended up deciding to stick it in the mouse ears and really badly mod podge it onto this paper that definitely could not handle mod podge and origami put onto it um, and it had a lovely little grease stain all the, way, all the way around the edges so I thought okay well that needs covering up because that looks terrible so I took a gr the green marker and was like doing some like ivy leaf weird stringy things that just look terrible um, but yeah overall it, it's it's nowhere near my best work at all but I did enjoy making this, to be perfectly honest, and just trying something a bit different. I think it's good to always try different supplies, especially if you're going through art block. I always say this, if you're having trouble, try something new. Um, so yeah, you know, I used the little refill pen as well, which was kind of blue and glittery, which was very nice. The colours do not work harmoniously whatsoever in this piece, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I stupidly forgot to use my makeup brush for any of the, the painting part, and I didn't use the sticks either. So I don't, that was a bit, yeah, I should have used sticks. I didn't realise until I'd finished this that I hadn't used them. <laughs> oh well, maybe next time. Um, so yes, please do make sure that you check out Miranda's video. She's done a beautiful job with the supplies I sent her. She's honestly such a talented artist, and she's so sweet. So please make sure that you go and check her out. Um, and subscribe to her and tell her that I sent you. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this piece. It's, it's there. Yeah, okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. Uh, let me know if you would do something like this with your art friends because it's a lot of fun to be given things that you wouldn't normally buy for yourself and then try and push your boundaries a little bit. Make sure you check out Miranda, by the way, because she's so lovely and just, she's unbelievably sweet. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Bye.